Today is the day the Lord has made, and yesterday was the day the Lord has made. And guess what? We are still rejoicing and be glad in it. Praise God. <clears throat> rejoicing is something you have to choose to do. No matter what kind of year you had, no matter what kind of day you had, night you had, praise God. Rejoicing in the Lord is something that we do. David said, mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. is the day the Lord has made. So we praise God for this. Welcome for all of you that are on with today, us today. Praise God. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Praise God. Dr. Bell, give him a great big welcome this time. Yes. Good morning once again. We're praising God that we're almost out of 2020. Amen. And going into 2021, a new year of, uh, to start all mm -hmm. over again. So we're going to forget those things that are behind us. We're going to continue to reach forth into those things which are before. Amen. So this is 2021 is going to be our year of restoration. And I am thanking and praising God that all things are going to be restored back unto me, back unto you, back into anything that you have touched in this, in this life that have touched you for the bad, but God said he's going to restore that. Amen. And not only that, you know, we're talking about resisting the naysayers and persecution. You know, you're going to be persecuted. Jesus was persecuted. He told you in his word, you're following the word, and if you're reading the word, it's right there in the word till you, you're going to be persecuted once you, once you start getting uh, uh, things, amen, and start going forth in the things of God. You are going to be persecuted. But in um, St. John chapter 16, verse 33, listen to what he says. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. If Jesus was a world overcomer, guess what? We are world overcomers too. So go ahead and rejoice in the things of God because restoration is here for you today. God bless you. <laughs> Praise God. And I'm just <clears throat> taking a moment to share this. <clears throat> Excuse me, if you own this morning, which I know you are on, praise God, yes. uh, then we want you to take a moment to share this, yes. you know, with your friends and praise God, you know, just, you know, just go down there and, and say, share, 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 praise God. Yes. And, and, and let's watch and see how God is going to move today in such a mighty and a powerful way today as we open the things of God up and we begin to share yes. uh, from the word of God. So again, we praise God for you today. Thank God for you uh, being a part of our uh, our great audience, praise God, over this year of 2020. Some of you have been a part of my audience for the last 25, 30 years, <laughs> praise God. But it's great to have you with us today, and we praise God for you. Now, <clears throat> I want to just make a, a special announcement, first of all. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, normally, uh, 2020, you know, at, at the end of each year, on New Year's Eve night, you know, uh, the Lord kind of put in my heart, we need to pick back on some things. Because there's a lot of things that happen uh, at the beginning of the year that kind of launch you into the next year. And what I always did, and that is that I would, we would always have what we we'll call a New Year's Eve celebration. Mm -hmm. and, and, and normally at 12 o'clock, I, I would normally take from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock to kind of share some word what God put in my heart for that next year. Then I took a time to pray for people. And many people always say, Dr. Craig, that, that anointing that came on me in that New Year's Eve service rest on me for the whole year. It really called my year to prosper. Mm -hmm. So God put in my heart, even though we are part, you know, th th this COVID situation is down, mm -hmm. many people are not able to, you know, to, you know, to have the large numbers into the local church like they used to. Mm -hmm. But God put in my heart, we need to still share that. So I am going to take some time to share that <clears throat> on, uh, on, at, at uh, well, actually, it's, it's going to be 11 o'clock Arizona time, 10 a.m., Pacific Standard Time, and then you that are throughout the world, just adjust your time according to that. Mm -hmm. uh, but the whole, uh, so it's 10 o'clock here in Las Vegas, that's Pacific Standard Time, that is 11 o'clock uh, Arizona time, and then throughout America and around the world, you make that adjustment. But we're going to pray, and we're going to believe God for you to have a double this year, praise God, supernatural double in your life. God says you're going to double financially, mm -hmm. you're going to double physically, and you're going to double spiritually, praise God. And so we're going to be doing that here on New Year's Eve night at 11 o'clock a.m. Arizona time, praise God. And so this, this, so I want you to, you know, the whole purpose is we're going to connect. We believe in God to connect with you in a whole new way like we've never connected with you before. Yes. We, we got four different areas that we're going to be connecting with you on. <clears throat> Number one is in partnership. Many of you that have been with us for the whole year, you've been listening to us, but God put in my heart, this is a time to connect. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when you connect, 
things change in your life. Amen. Praise God. When the disciples connected with Jesus, they didn't have no more, no more uh, uh, you know, uh, fishing all night, like, all night long and not catching anything. So the first way we're going to partner, we're going to partner, I'm going to want you to partner with that number one relationship is a, is a partnership relationship. Number two is going to be what I call a protege or mentor relationship. Well, myself and Dr. Bell, during the year, uh, for those that want that level of relationship, we use our experience, we use our you know, uh, the things that we've learned over the years to help mentor you uh, both through seminars that we're going to be doing this year, <clears throat> books and things like that. What, you know, in other words, we're going to connect with you to, to really help you and, and, and have specialized seminars specifically for you. Amen. That's a protege uh, relationship. Then the next relationship is called a son-daughter relationship, mm -hmm. which is a lot more intimate. This is what, this is what uh, uh, Joshua had with Moses. This is what uh, Elisha had with Elijah. Well, that actually was a transfer of anointing. Now, it requires a little bit more uh, commitment because we, we actually work with you yes. uh, to, uh, to help you develop strategies right. in your life, praise God, and help you overcome obstacles and setbacks and, and hindrances that may try to come to, to, to keep you from walking in your vision. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth one, of course, is those that are out there. You said, Dr. Craig, I, I want to be licensed. I would like to be licensed and ordained by you. And that right there is a, is the final one that and many of you that you say, Dr. Craig, I want to ask to come into your ministry because uh, we're in a worldwide ministry, uh, uh, Alfred Craig Ministries, and we can we're going to license you and ordain you, and we're going we can share with you what that takes because we have an actual ministry training institute program that we can actually put you through in less than a year, and you can actually qualify to be licensed and ordained through us. And so that's what we, that's what's coming up. But uh, but on New Year's Eve night. We're going to connect together, Amen. praise God. It's going to be the night for connecting, praise God. And we're going to release a special anointing on you for, your, for, you, for you spiritually, a special anointing on you for health, mm -hmm. and a special anointing on you for finances this praise year. So God. let's look forward to that, praise God. So we're looking forward to it. It's great. Yes. So we love you very much. God bless you, praise God. As Dr. Bell said, our lesson today is going to be on resisting. Oh, resisting. my God. The naysayers yes. and the persecution. Because when you move into the double this year, when you move into the hundredfold return this year, mm -hmm. believe me, it's going to attract naysayers oh, yeah. and it's going to attract persecution. Amen. But, but I guarantee you, no matter what's going on in your life, God's going to do some great things. Thank you, Lord. So let's look at a definition, first of all, Dr. Bell, of, uh, of uh, naysayers. What is a naysayer anyway? Naysayers are those who habitually express negative or pessimistic views to stir fear, discouragement and cast gloom mm, you get that <laughs> naysayers are those who habitually mm. express they always negative the negative or pessimistic they just pessimistic all the time you know uh to try to get fear and discouragement right. you know what's a class gloom on your vision class gloom on what on you know this year you saying dr craig i'm going for the double i'm going for the hundredfold and they all uh, you think that there ain't nothing to all that right there that's just dr right. craig talking no those called naysayers yes Always negative about everything. Amen. Always pessimistic. Always said, you think that's going to really happen for you? <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you follow the assignment and the vision God has given you, that's right. everything I'm telling you is going to be word proved. Amen. Amen. And so that means that you can go. But, but one thing you got to recognize, you got to recognize, though, that, that you're going to have to learn as you move into 2021 and begin to experience this, 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 this on fire double and, and uh, that persecution gonna come with it yes. so let's notice jesus christ talked a little bit about this about persecution in those areas look, look here at um matthew chapter number five and verse number 10. blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness mm -hmm. for theirs is the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. blessed are you when people insult you persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Mm. In other words, persecution is not foreign to people who live in the hundredfold. Yes. Jesus says, you're blessed. You're blessed. That means you are empowered to prosper. Mm -hmm. He said, but you're going to be persecuted because of righteousness. Mm -hmm. It would mean that you're, that you're going to walk in the double because God promised you the double. Amen. And you're going to walk in the hundredfold because God promised you the hundredfold. But the people are going to, he said, they're going to persecute you. Mm -hmm. they're, going to, they're, they're going to 
uh, uh, falsely say all kinds of evil against you. Amen. They're going to insult you. Mm -hmm. And he said, but that's the time you rejoice. Amen. Because you know that you that you walk in that anointing. Because if you wasn't doing nothing, they right. wouldn't be saying nothing. Right. Amen. That's it. In other words, you're not being, you're not just uh, 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 being the news that people are talking about. Right. You are the news. You are. And so, <laughs> you could, and you're going to attract. You're going to attract. You know, which, you know, you are worth someone coming on at 10 o'clock saying, how about that Christian that said they're doing something and, and they ain't doing nothing? What I'm saying is that persecution is a part of it. Amen. So you got to get a hold of it. You got to get your, you got to strengthen yourself right now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, right now against that thing. And that's what we're talking about resisting it, beginning yes. to build your resistance up. Yes. You know, what, what causes a bridge to fall is many times the water that's coming against it was not, uh, was not strong enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I mean the, 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 the bridge was not strong enough to resist the water that was coming against it. So therefore, the water broke the resistance. Mm -hmm. So you got to build yourself up right now mm -hmm. uh, for resistance against the persecution, against the naysayers, against the insults in the name of Jesus. Amen. So let's look at some things, Dr. Bell, on why is it that, why do people persecute us anyway? Amen. <laughs> It, persecution is intended discrimination. In other words, it is intended discrimination. My, my, my. In other words, sometimes it comes because of your age, your race. Okay. You know, people don't like your race. Sometimes it comes because of your age. <laughs> you mean you and Dr. Bev in y'all 60s and y'all still trying to do all this? Yes. Abraham was 99 <laughs> years old. And him and Sarah had their had their son Isaac and he had and he only had about seven more kids after that. Right, right. So let me tell you something. So people <laughs> attack you because of your age. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter 92, say you shall be still fat and flourishing in your old age. Holy and Amen. so we're just about halfway through because the Bible talks about 120 years. Yeah. So you can't let your age stop you. That's right. You know, I, I was talking to my sister the other day and I was telling her, I said, look, I says, I remember when you turned 30 years old and you cried. <laughs> <laughs> you thought me because you thought that was old, amen. But 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 see, let me tell you something that age your dream does not have no age limit on it, amen. So, you know, watch that people criticize because you're your gender, mm -hmm. you're a woman. How are you gonna pass through a church? Mm -hmm. How are you gonna be an apostle? And you are a woman. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna have a business? You are, and you are a woman, mm -hmm. or they they, they persecute you because of your lack of education. Yeah. You ain't got enough. I mean, people told me that years ago, you, you're not educated enough to do what you're talking about doing. I told him, Listen, I, I, I told him, I said, Look here, I said, It seemed like God told me to do it, and not yes. you. Yes. You got all your education. Are <laughs> uh, you following? I mean, yeah, God told me, chose me to do it. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, don't let people uh, uh, persecute you because of your lack of education, mm -hmm. but also, don't let people, don't let people. A persecute because of your education. That's true. Because there's nothing wrong with having education. That's so right. So some people people will say, well, you is because you educate, think you something. No, mm -hmm. you you paid the bills to get education. That's right. So so the whole goal is it's called intended discrimination. Mm. If they do purposely on your life. Yes, yes. And so mm -hmm. so 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 sometimes the people are good people. Oh yeah. But they just don't understand the call of God on your life. They don't understand the 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 mm -hmm. the uh but what God has really put inside of you mm -hmm. and the dream he's put inside of you. Mm -hmm. But they're good people. Mm -hmm. I remember my father, this has been when I first started in ministry. He didn't understand but because I was a hairdresser, you know, mm -hmm. successful in business. And when I went into full-time ministry, he really didn't understand it because, of course, he had been raised as a man. Like, I was a man. And he, he said, look, you know, you, you got a good job. You know, why are you going to go into this ministry? Are you following me? You know, it's come almost like you're running your education now. All that time you put it. But he didn't understand that. But he was good. He meant he meant good. Right. But uh, but then later on, when uh, after about fifteen years later, he actually saw the results that God had given me both here in America and around the world, mm. and God revealed it to him. And I remember one time when he would always come to our church, he would say we'd all allow him to sing all the time, and he, and he said this. He said, "You know what? When my son first told me what God said to him, I didn't see it." He said, but now I see what God said to him. Mm -hmm. And, and, and from, from that point on, my father became our, our, my seven Dr. Bell's biggest hooray. Amen. Amen. He would get our flyers and pass them out, praise oh. God, because God, because so sometimes he, people are sincere, mm -hmm. but they just don't understand what God's put in your life. So you can't you can't stop what God does because sometimes I, you know even my I would go to some of my family family dinners and and and, and things and I know people be talking about me. <laughs> I didn't want to go on things like that. Are you following? Yeah. But they didn't understand That's right. what God was really tr right. doing in my life. Right. So you got to understand that sometimes people are sincere, mm -hmm. but they they're sincerely in what they're thinking, 
but they just don't know. So that's why, you know, <clears throat> people don't recognize, though, that many people that criticize you and, and they're doing it just because they hate, they're hating on you. Yes. Amen. Then they gotta watch out because they're putting them own selves in harm's That's way when right. they do it, especially when it's been, they're being done maliciously. All right. Dr. Bill, what does Psalm chapter 105, 105, 105 verse 15 say? Saying, Touch not mine anointed mm -hmm. and do my prophets no harm. Mm. Touch my, not mine anointed Amen. and do my prophets no harm. That's right. God is sincere about people that are called by God. Come on. You know, when there's a real anointing in your life yes. and people take it upon themselves to criticize you maliciously, mm -hmm. are you a farming? You know, they, they got to watch out for that. Yes. And then notice what the book of Matthew chapter number 25 mm -hmm. and verse 40 say. And the king shall answer and say unto them, mm -hmm. Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as you have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. People don't recognize oh when they God. criticize a real man or woman of God like mm -hmm. you are, then they don't recognize they're doing it to Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's in the book of Acts when Paul was persecuting the church. Mm -hmm. Jesus appeared and said, Paul, why are you persecuting mm -hmm. me? That's right. So a lot of times people don't recognize that. So, so you, you can't take it personal mm -hmm. and, and get into your emotion behind that. They don't recognize mm -hmm. what the devil is really trying to do through them yes. to try to derail what God is doing through you. That's right. And it, it's so amazing on how they want to attack somebody that's doing something good, good for themselves, good for their church, good for their community, good for their mom or their dads or their brother or their sister. But yet they want to criticize and, and try to make themselves higher than what, what you know, what everybody else is, but that is not the answer. That's called, you know, touch not my anointing. Yeah. Because God, if God has called a person to do a certain thing and they're doing good, they're not doing bad, but they're doing good. Why should you, you know, help promote that person? Right. Yeah. Because of the just like the word of God says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. That's right. That is true. That's right. And so God wants us to pray for him. Mm -hmm. You know, because because that that the devil, Bible said the devil is blind at the minds of them that believe not. Ah. So people are just blind. Yes. So God raises us up at their intercessors. We begin to pray for them. God opened their oh, eyes that they open. may be seen. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people don't recognize what they're really doing. They don't recognize that they're, they're being pawns in the hand of the devil. Yes. So the whole goal is God opened their eyes because yes. we're intercessors. Right. Uh, we're intercessors, and God opened eyes that we can see that, and God that you could that, that you will raise up more Christians mm -hmm. that 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 understand how to endure that. And yet become intercessors that you would open the eyes of them at that believe not. Amen. Mm -hmm. So the, the second number two, Dr. Number two, mm -hmm. why people persecute us is what, Dr. Bell? Persecution is intended <clears throat> discouragement. Oh my God. The devil wants to discourage you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. That means to diss your courage. Right. To, he'll, he'll do some things through persecution and criticism to, mm -hmm. to say, that's right, I ain't going to do it because, you know, and the, the, the people I thought going to really be with me my ain't God. with me. So right. let me tell you something. Persecution is intended discouragement. It's, it's yes. intended to discourage you. Mm -hmm. That's why God told Joshua, be strong, be strong. and be of good courage. Mm -hmm. Because when you're moving forth in the things of God, the, the devil going to have people out there specifically with the intention of discouraging you. That's right. There are people that want to, that, that intentionally mm -hmm. want to sow fear in your life, mm -hmm. in your heart. So they won't get hurt by what you do. Because right. what you do makes them look bad. That's right. Because they don't want to pay the price. Mm -hmm. they, they don't want to go for the hundredfold this year. They don't want to go for the double this year. Sure. They're not willing to put the time into learning and growing and developing. They want to just sit back and continue to do what they're doing mm -hmm. and, 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 and then borrow some of your money when you get it. <laughs> Amen. Okay. So, so notice here, you know, God, spent, God had mm -hmm. um, Moses... Sent, I think, it was twelve spies out mm -hmm. to go spy out the land of uh, 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 the, the land of Canaan, uh -huh. and the people went and spied the land out, and and they saw the mm -hmm. the land was very fruitful, flowing with milk and honey, uh -huh. full of grapes and things like that, and so the the, the first people, you know, Joshua and Caleb said, "Let's man, this is yes. great. Yes, yes, let's go up at once. We can possess this. We can take this thing." But look in Numbers chapter number thirteen. In verse 31, what it says. But the men that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger mm. than we. So, My God. so they tried to discourage Joshua mm -hmm. and Caleb mm -hmm. from doing what they believed God could do through them. Mm -hmm. And they said, but mm. the men that, that went up with him said, 
we be not able. Wow. There are people that will intentionally try to discourage you yeah. from doing what God said you could do. That's right. And 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 also it make you question what God has told you to you, do. You got it. Yeah. Yes. That's it. And that, that's it. Because mm -hmm. because the, that that's their that's their mo their mode of operation. Mm -hmm. They want this intentional mm -hmm. discouragement coming from people yes. that see the potential. Wow. Not want to pay the price. <laughs> not want to go into faith. Uh, you'll find those areas. And so they just kind of sit back and say, no, we can't do it. Well, well, you know, the Bible said it took 40 years later, but Joshua and Caleb went into that land. That's right. And all the people that said they couldn't do it, they died off. Yes. So, so you just got to outlast the oh, persecution. Yeah. Amen. It. Praise that's God. It. Number three. Persecution is intended distraction. Mm. Intended. Persecution is an intended distraction. My God. The devil wants to distract you mm -hmm. from 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 and, and get you off course. My God, from what the from the plan and the purpose that God has for your life. Mm -hmm. In other words, they have an agenda agenda that they want you to pursue. Right, they want you to pursue at the level that they, well, well well let's not. Uh, you know, you ain't got to go through all that faith. We can just sell chicken dinners. We can have bake sales. You know, we can have special, you know, money raising programs, you know, and mm -hmm. things like that. But uh, instead of walking by faith and not That's by sight, right. instead of believing in the power of the tithe, yes. instead of believing the power about, uh, instead yes. of believing about the power of the seed, yes. they want you to pursue it at their level instead of you saying, no, God, God, you know, Amen. God's got a way he's going to do me, you know, this is if you're a pastor, tithes and offerings, but if you are in, in, in uh, a business, God, God gonna give you supernatural Amen. business ideas. Yes, he will. You may have people that say, you know what? Well, I just want just a, this little business on the corner in this one shop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and I can make just have enough to make a living. But yet, God is putting you multiple locations. Mm -hmm. God is putting you expanding from the, the three thousand uh, uh, size uh, square feet building mm -hmm. to a twenty five thousand square feet building. Mm -hmm. And people want you to stay at their level. But they want you to do it according to what they yes. want to do. Right, right. Is that right? So they try to distract you, yes. distract you from, uh, from the assignment that they have, right. that you have, and they want to give you their own agenda. That's right. It's called intended mm -hmm. distraction. Nope. Watch out for people Watch in, out. trying to intentionally distract you from doing things right. at the level God has called you to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, you find, I know when I first, when I, when I, I was in, in, in religion for quite a while when I first got this, all I knew. But when God began to expand me, yes. and God began to have myself not to be able to go to go to other conferences that mm -hmm. that was that was reaching thousands of people, conferences that was reaching multiple millions right. of people like that, and I began to start thinking, yes, that right. we can reach thousands, we can bring in Amen. millions of dollars. Are you following me? But there were people that said, "Now you into that cult." Mm -hmm. Some of the people you know, that was in that, that particular denomination that then said, "He's now in a cult now." <laughs> Are you following? And he, he's following that, yeah. that, 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 that Frederick Price now. Are you following? <laughs> but, but I understood Hallelujah. that was intended distraction. Yes. Are you following? They were trying, but see, the same people that did that later on tried to invite me to their churches. Mm -hmm. Are you following? Because they seen the hand of God mm -hmm. on me. Mm -hmm. But what if I would allow them to distract me? Right. From what God was putting in my heart. That's right. Are you following? Number four, Dr. Bev. Persecution is intended dishonor. It is intended dishonor. Oh In other words, they'll question your motives. Right. Well, the only why you want that big church because you're into money now. Mm. Are you following? Mm. Uh, 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 you know, um, you just want to, you know, you want that car because you're just into, into worldly things now. No, mm -hmm. it's, it, you know, they try to dishonor you yes. by questioning your motives for what you're doing. That's right. Are you following me? In other words, as we begin to get more and more finances into the ministry, are you following me? We, we begin to minister to people both around the world. Yes. I miss people around the world. I mean, we, we, we started ministering uh, our, our ministry school in Kenya, in Tanzania, Uganda, mm -hmm. Nigeria, mm -hmm. London, England, are you following me? Uh, uh, throughout America, throughout Arizona, we've trained over 10,000 people around the world. Yes. And people say, but people just saw my Rolls Royce. They just ah. saw the car we drove. They didn't see the multiplied millions of dollars right. we were spending around the world. That's right. So you got to watch out people who, who, who try to question your motives are you following for the blessing on your life? Mm -hmm. And so you got to watch that too, because the devil is out to to discredit you and bring dishonor to you, amen, through what God has called you to do. So you got to watch out for that. Number five, Dr. Bell. Persecution is intended dis discreditation. Amen. They want to discredit you. My God. Are you following? Yes, yes. I said, who do you think you are? Right. Who do you think you are? 
you know, you know, living in that kind of house. Who do you think you are? But you know, ha- having that large church. You know, they want to they want you they want to stay in that little, you know, three thousand square feet building, but then all of a sudden you believe in God for whole shopping centers now. Yes. You believe in God for you know be, you know a large you know you believe in God for your own airplane. Yes, yes. You know, was you you know who you think you are? Mm-hmm. Are you following me? Uh, anyway, you know so uh Mr. Big Stuff, who do you think you are? Are you following me? Oh. <laughs> Amen. That's what that's, that's back in the sixties and seventies. But what I'm saying is you gotta watch people yes, to, that's gonna try to discredit you uh, in that area, saying who you think you are. Amen. You know who you think you are? You are a child of the living God. Yes, you are a child of the King. You are the head and not the tail. Amen. You are above and not beneath. You are the lender and not the borrower. Mm-hmm. That's who you are. Amen. 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 You are who God says you are. You have what God says you have, and you can do <laughs> what God says you can do. Mm-hmm. So don't let people discredit you. Amen. Mm-hmm. Praise God. Uh, all of our heroes that we know in the past, mm-hmm. they suffered persecution. Yes, they did. And persecution was a reality. You know, mm-hmm. uh, we look at Joseph, Dr. Bell, mm-hmm. you know, in Genesis chapter 37 mm-hmm. and verse 8. Look, look what his brother said to him when he, when he uh, <laughs> uh, told him about his dream. Right. And his brother said unto him, mm-hmm. shall thou indeed reign over us mm-hmm. or shall thou indeed have dominion over us? Mm-hmm. And they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. And that is something that you would think people would celebrate. Je- uh, he, uh, Joseph had a dream. Yeah. Shared it with his closest, with his relatives, brothers right. and sisters. Right. The ones that's going to help them out. He's going to help them out. <laughs> and yet they hated him because of his Not dreams. No more. So, so persecution goes with the dream. Mm. Are you following you? you when you that's why you gotta be careful. You tell your dream sometimes because mm-hmm. they can't handle nope. the level of dream God has given you mm-hmm. in those areas. Mm-hmm. How about Nehemiah, Doctor Beth? Now, to, to, Tobiah mm-hmm. the Ammonite was by him, and he said, "Even that which thou, even that which they built, if a fox go up." Shall he even break down their stone wall? Mm. So look at that doing. They're kind of criticizing too. <laughs> well, if he do build that wall, Mm-mm. if a fox doing that wall is going to break it down. Wow. So they, again, they're trying to discredit him again. Discredit. People who are uh, 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 who have been heroes of faith, yes. they have accomplished great things. Yes. Are you following? There's yes. always somebody criticizing My them, God. discrediting them. Mm-hmm. Dishonoring them, are you following? But they still accomplish their goals. Yes, uh, how about David, David's brothers? There, Dr. Uh-huh. Bev, in, in, in First Samuel, chapter seventeen, verse twenty-eight. And Elab, his oldest brother, heard when he spake unto the men, mm-hmm. and Elab's an- anger was kindled against David, and he said, "Why camest thou down here hither? And whom shall thou left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know." I know thy pride and thy naughtiness of thine heart, for thou art come down that thou mightest see the battle. So, so here is Eliam, Eliab, who is criticizing David. My God. Now, now Goliath is there criticizing all of them, wow. demeaning them, discrediting them, dishonoring them day after day. And David comes out and said, who is this giant? Mm. And so again, David, Eliab said, who do you think you are? Mm. You know, go if you go back in the little few sheep you got, you right. ain't ready for no battle. Right. Why you want to come down here? Why you want to come down in the first place? Right. <laughs> so there's people that when you begin to yeah. attack things, problems that are out there in the earth mm-hmm. that nobody else wants to wants to challenge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People that that you know that that's scared mm-hmm. and don't want to put the time into it mm-hmm. will criticize you like it did David. But David understood. Mm-hmm. I, I know what's inside of me, my God. and this giant is, that everybody is scared of. Me and my God is enough to overcome it. Mm-hmm. So God may give you something mm-hmm. that that's hanging there. There's a need that's out there, there is. that exists, a problem that out there that exists mm-hmm. that God has given you an ideal to to produce. But yet there's people that ain't did it themselves mm-hmm. that are sitting back saying, "Yo, who you think you are? How you gonna do my, that?" My, my. So you so you gotta watch that in Jesus' name. Yes, so yes. look what look at what David said to Goliath in First Samuel chapter seventeen. And verse number 42, Dr. Bell. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair continence. So, so look at what the Goliath tried to do. <laughs> he looked at David. Uh, he put him down. Yes, he did. You old young kid, who do you think you are? Mm-hmm. You know, I, 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 these ministers tell me all the time that, that I was preaching before you, you were born. Right. 
and yet they still have three members in their church. Mm-hmm. Are you following? What I'm saying is that, you know, you can't let people put mm-hmm. you down. That's right. He disdained because he was a youth and a fair continence, and it said that he disdained David. Mm-hmm. You got to watch people that discredit you yes. and dishonor you because of your, your age, mm-hmm. because of your education, mm-hmm. or lack of education. Mm-hmm. Don't let nobody put you down Amen. and make you doubt what God is going to do in your life. Amen. So watch out for persecution. Watch, watch out for the naysayers. Watch out for the criticism. Yes. It's going to come. Yes. But you got to strengthen yourself for it right, right now to, have, to build your resistance up mm-hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. So look at a few points here, Dr. Bell, on then how then do we resist mm-hmm. these naysayers <laughs> and this persecution? Number one is what? Realize the master puppeteer behind persecution is the devil. That is, the one, that is one of his strategies. Mm. You got to realize <laughs> the master puppeteer. Yeah. Even though it's coming through people, mm-hmm. is the devil. That's right. He this the persecution and criticism. Are you? I remember Dr. Price told us that when we was in school. You got to watch out for persecution, mm-hmm. criticism, because it's going to come to you. Mm-hmm. You got to know how to handle it when it Amen. comes. And he said the master puppeteer mm-hmm. is, the is the devil. That's why I was really glad when I saw Apostle Ivy here teaching on this because I said, you know, this is what's going on right now. Mm-hmm. And he's been as, as an apostle and a prophet of God. He's been really sharing with some of the people about. This is what you got to prepare yourself for because some things going to happen this mm-hmm. year. Mm-hmm. You know, they're going to be they're going to they're going to they're be strong prosperity. Oh yeah, but it's going to also be strong <laughs> poverty and persecution. Yes. in those areas. Mm-hmm. So we got so we got to we got to prepare ourselves right. for this in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. So James chapter four and verse number uh, seven, Doctor Bell. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Mm-hmm. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Mm. Resist him. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Mm-hmm. Then it says, "Resist the devil. Mm-hmm. Build up that resistance, mm-hmm. and he will mm-hmm. flee from yes. you." Glory to Amen. God. You got to learn how to resist that That's thing. Right. And the Amplified Bible says, "What? Uh, so be go, mm-hmm. go ahead. So be, be subject, subject to God." God. Resist, Resist the, the devil, devil, stand firm, firm against him, him and, and he, he will, will flee from you. you. So you got make a decision. That's right. I know the persecution is coming. Mm-hmm. I know the criticism is coming. Mm-hmm. Are you following me? But I'm putting it in my heart right Hallelujah. now to resist him <laughs> and stand firm against him. And as you stand against stand. him firm, after you submit up to God and God's what God has said, mm-hmm. he will flee from you. Amen. Glory to God. That's right. Because so, so understand that. That, that the temptation will be temporary. Thank you. Glory to God. Amen. And, and, and the devil will have to back up yes. as you stand on the things of God. That's right. Notice the book of Ephesians there, chapter number 6 and verse number 12. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, uh-huh. but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. So, so that's where the devil's coming from. Mm. You got to recognize that, that this my, my world... Life. We're not wrestling with flesh and blood. That's not where our struggle is at. True. But if you try to get into struggle with flesh and blood, mm-hmm. husband and wife, kids and family, uh, members in your church or whatever there, mm-hmm. you got to recognize that Satan's behind that. Yes. And it says it's against the rulers. Mm-hmm. It's against the authorities. Mm-hmm. It is against the powers of darkness oh. of this world mm-hmm. and the spiritual force of evil in the heavenly or spiritual right. realm. Yeah. So you got to recognize that what's really going on is, is behind the scenes mm-hmm. where the devil is creating situations, yeah, whether it be in your marriage, be with your children, be with your church, be with your business or whatever there, the devil's creating situations in order to get you to distract it right. and off what God has called you to do. Amen. Amen. So number two, Dr. Bev. So realize the persecution is not going to stop you. You are going to have to endure. Mm. Oh my right. God. Have you ever wished that it would just stop? <laughs> uh, you know, just low, just, just, <laughs> just stop. Just stop. 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 But you know, you got to realize it's not going to stop. That's right. Long as the world is turning. That's right. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Now, in the book of Revelation, if you want to read the last last chapter, right. it said there'll be no more pain then. Thanks. But until but then, as long as you're on this earth, <laughs> and as long as you are, you, you're pursuing the purpose of God for your life, as long as you are on assignment from Amen. God, and it, whether it's in business or whether it's in ministry, the persecution is not going to stop. Mm-hmm. You got to learn how to resist it. You got to know where it's right. coming from and learn how to resist it. Uh-huh. So if you if you're gonna live a godly life, yes, there is no escape from persecution. Amen. People are not gonna quit talking about you. 
and they're not going to stop downing you. You might That's just right. accept it as a part Amen. of the hundred fold. That's right. Notice what the book of Second Timothy chapter number three and verse number eleven says, Doctor Bell. Persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch and at Iconium and at, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. Mm. Yea. And all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall shall suffer persecution. So you got to just endure it. (laughs) Amen. You got, he said, what persecutions I endured. I endured. See, that's why you got to get that that, that, that resistance up. Yeah. The persecution, Lord, I'm going to endure this. That's right. Through the through the word of God. That's why I say you guys you gotta get in this word. That's why doing this then doing this year, myself and Dr. Bev, we're gonna be teaching you to the through Friday Amen. and on Sunday mornings to give you the word yes. strength that you need to endure the temptation. Amen. And we're also gonna be offering you uh these 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 relationships <laughs> with us, whether it be a partnership relationship, <laughs> where we just connect with the vision, yeah. whether it be a a uh, a protege mentor relationship where we use our experience through That's seminars right. and stuff like that, whether it be through a son daughter relationship, mm-hmm. uh, where we begin to help you or uh, uh, contact with you, know, connect with you to, to help you overcome the obstacles and build strategy in your yes. life and things like that, or whether it's for life and ordain to be actually under us in, in Jesus' name. Yes. Because we understand that that power to endure yes. sometimes helps to, have to, to be with the person that you are connected to. That's right. You know, uh, when, when Peter went through some things, he told Jesus, Lord, I would never deny you. Jesus said, Peter, the devil has desired to sift mm-hmm. you as sweet, but I've been praying for you mm-hmm. that your faith <laughs> fail not. You know, was, because Jesus was, Peter was connected to Jesus' ministry, that's right. Jesus was praying for him. Yes. And that's the power of connection. That's right. And that's why you, you don't need to be out there on your own. Mm-mm. You, you need to be connected to somebody. And my Amen. and Dr. Bell, we're not a pastor of a local church anymore, mm-hmm. but we're pastor of an international church, Amen. which includes you. Amen. Now, you may be a pastor and you may have a church, but you may need pastoring. That's right. You, follow me. you may need that connection. And, 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 and so we're offering that this year to help build, uh, be a, a blessing in your life in yes. Jesus' name. Because it says in verse 12, all that will live godly shall suffer persecution. <laughs> so you need that someone praying for you that you're connected to Amen. in Jesus' That's name. Right. So notice the book of Psalms, chapter number 31 now. Mm-hmm. And, and Psalms 31 and verse 15, Dr. Bev. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my foes and those who pursue me and persecute me. Mm. Hey. See that? David says, deliver me. Mm. See, you need God. See, that's what that, that, that persecution. Mm-hmm. He said, deliver me from the hands of, of my foes who pursue me and persecute me. Mm-hmm. That's where that prayer life comes in. And we're going to talk yeah, about that yeah. as we get on to this. Amen. That's where your prayer life comes in at. That's where that time you spend in the world comes in at. Mm-hmm. And that's where that connection, mm-hmm. whether it's a partnership connection, whether it's a, a mentorship, protege connection, whether it is a son-daughter connection, but that's where it comes in. Amen. One can put a thousand to flight. But two can put 10,000 to flight. Amen. Amen. Yes. So, uh, so recognize this, mm-hmm. that, that you cannot handle it uh, 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 in that area by yourself because God has commissioned us to be intercessors. Yes. So don't try to handle persecution and the people that's persecuting you by yourself. That's right. You intercede for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Notice the book of Matthew chapter 5, and this is what's kind of tough. When you know people are hating on you. You know, people are criticizing you. You know, they're, they're putting out insults against you. Yes. Look at what Jesus said the cure would be. Notice the book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse number 44 now. But I say unto you, love your enemies, mm-hmm. bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, mm-hmm. and pray for them which despisefully use you and persecute you. Mm. Yeah. Now, that's a hard saying. That's a hard saying. That's a hard saying. Especially when you're in your flesh. You can do it, it in the spirit, but if you're in your flesh, that's a hard It's a hard saying. And that's why Jesus said we rest on our discretion of blood. Because if you if you try to get in that in your flesh a little bit of that thing, Boy. like like now look, I ain't that saved. I will still whoop you right now. You follow me? So you, you can get in your flesh real easy. Yes. Especially when people are persecuting you, it says here, when they're despitefully using you yes. and they're 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 doing uh, they're, 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 they're saying uh, all kind of evil against you. Mm-hmm. It's hard to pray for people. Jesus said, love them. That's what he said. Love your enemies. That means yes. do acts of kindness to yes. them. Yes. Yes. Are you following me? There's some people that I've been knowing that, uh, <laughs> that don't like me. People I know be criticizing me. And yet when I'm around them, 
I, I bless them because hey. I understand that the most powerful thing in the world <laughs> yeah. is not I four nine two four two. That's right. He said you overcome evil with good. Now that's God's way of doing things. That's right. But sometimes <laughs> we can't put it in, take it in our hands because if you if you try to get it in your hands, guess what happens? Oh you're gonna God. you're gonna get off your vision. That's you're gonna right. get distracted. Yes. And you're gonna end up next year not getting your double. Mm -hmm. You're gonna end up next year not getting into the hundred fold mm -hmm. because you allow people to that's distract right. you through the thing that the, through the thing the devil was doing through them mm -hmm. to get you off course. Yes. And so you gotta really watch out for that this year. So notice um, mm -hmm. book of uh, Romans now, chapter number 12 and verse number 14 in the Amplified Bible. Bless those who persecute you, who are cruel in their attitude toward you. Bless and do not curse mm. them. See what I'm saying? Oh, God. Th now, this yeah. is building your resistance up. That's good. Amen. This is how you're building resistance up. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, and this is what Apostle Paul saying, bless them who persecute you. Yeah. Listen, who are cruel in their attitude towards My you. My gosh, that attitude. Mm. That's something else. That attitude. You know, man, you, you, man they're just cruel. Mm -hmm. You may want to, it said, don't curse them. You may want to cut. You don't want to just curse. You want to cuss too. You want to cuss <laughs> them out. Are you following me? He said, but well, you got to bless them. That's what it said. You know, but it's a whole attitude you have to because understanding all these are distractors. <laughs> yes, they are. And, and you got to learn how to resist this thing mm -hmm. by following what the Bible says. Because no person that's talking about you, mm -hmm. no matter how cruel their attitude is, is not worth you doubling this year. Amen. It's not worth the hundredfold. That's it's right. not worth you fulfilling your destiny that's good. and reaching your destination Amen. that God has for your life. Amen. you got to count the cost. That's right. It, it's, it's me getting back at them. And, and exchange things worth me getting off track and not getting my double this year. Is it it's worth not me not? My, you know, that's right. It's not worth it. You, you got to understand that. So, so, so it's going to come. Mm -hmm. The scriptures tell us it's going to come. Mm -hmm. But point number three, Dr. Bell. Real, realize persecution cannot stop, cannot stop the hundredfold blessings on your life. That's got to get a hold to right there. Not stop it. So no matter how much they persecute you. That's right. No matter how much they criticize you. No matter how many insults they bring against you, it cannot stop Come on. the hundredfold from That's manifesting right. your life today. It cannot stop the double. That's right. Because God said, I'm going to give you a double for your trouble. Mm -hmm. It cannot stop the hundredfold mm -hmm. as long as you're walking the hundredfold. Mm -hmm. Look what Jesus told the disciples in Mark chapter number uh, Mark chapter number 10 and verse number 29. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, mm -hmm. there is no man that hath left house or brethren, or sister, or father, or mother, mm. or wife, or children, or lands, for my sake, and the gospels. But he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time, houses, and brothers, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, with persecutions, and the world to come, eternal life. Now, now what I saw on this is here. Jesus says, mm. answer said to them, there is no man. No man. Okay. That you you've sacrificed mm -hmm. because of your assignment. Mm -hmm. You sacrifice to get that business started. Yeah. You sacrifice to get that ministry started. Mm -hmm. He said, "There's no man that has left house, brethren, sisters, father, mm -hmm. mother, mm -hmm. wife, or children or lands." My God, my God. This is it for my sake, wow. not because you believe in poverty. Thank you. But for my sake, when my second Dr. Bell. You know, with the, when God gave us an assignment to go to Raymond Bible Training Center mm -hmm. under Kenneth Hagen and then go to L.A. to build Apostle Price, there was a cost there. Oh, yeah. And so we had been living in a home and things like that, mm -hmm. but we, had, we ended up going to uh, a Raymond Bible Training Center and living in an apartment. Mm -hmm. We ended up living in an apartment in a long time. Right. But we did it for Christ's yeah, sake. For the gospel. Because sake. while we were in ministry school, mm -hmm. we were not able to have the, the large budget number because I was not in my business anymore. Mm -hmm. So we, we reduced our budget down. For the Lord's sake. Yes. Now because we believe in poverty. So we live and then went to LA again. Mm -hmm. We 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 live in a uh, uh for my when my brother for about a month or so, then we end up living in a little apartment over there for a the motel. Lord. It, it, yeah, <laughs> the motel at one moment while we're down in LA. 
Amen. Amen. You know, but but we were on assignment. Yes, we were. We, we were not doing because we believe in poverty. Amen. We were, you know, we wrote the RTD. We'd have a carpet at that time. That's right. We wrote the RTD bus yes, every day did. to go to the Crenshaw Credit Center, ride the RTD bus every day. Right. And the thing about it is, we did it with joy. We did it with joy because we knew what God wanted us to do. When you when you are a person know knowing what God told you to do, won't nothing be hard for you. You know, it might it might last. A, you know, you know, it might get on your nerves a little bit, but you still have to put the assignment ahead of you. You have to put one foot ahead of another said no i'm doing this for the gospel's sake not my sake and that's and, it and when you do that god's gonna take care of you and that's what happened <laughs> you know we spent them three years oh yeah doing that for the lord's sake we're the proof a amen <laughs> and uh, and during that time yes. our car got repossessed yes it did and we, i'm not saying the lord repossessed our car but our but we didn't have the funds to pay for the payments <laughs> <laughs> you follow me? And uh, matter of fact, one time the, the guy came right there in, uh, uh, in front of the car. You know, I, I was trying to hide my car. I was, we, we was at church. I was trying to hide my car in the back. And this guy called me up and said, uh, are you Mr. Craig? I said, yes. He says, well, me and my wife, we having problems with our marriage. Is it possible for you to counsel us? I'm thinking, I'm getting spiritual. Yes, no problem at all. As a matter of fact, come on around to the back back there and, and, and you'll see some cars parked back there. Three minutes later, this guy come up in his truck. And flipped his badge and says, sir, I'm from so-and-so bank. And I have kind of repossessed your car. Are you following? <laughs> oh, my God. Repossessed right in front of the church. Man, employees yes. looking at me. Right. Embarrassing. Right. Now what you going to do? Now what you going to do? <laughs> but you know what? Hand over the keys. We hand over the keys yes. <laughs> because we were, we, were, we, we were not suffering for the Lord. Amen. We were doing it for his sake. This is what it was going to cost us to readjust our whole life That's to right. fulfill the plan of God for our life. Amen. So when we, when years, a few years later, we got a Rolls Royce, people criticized us. They don't know what we, they don't know what we did for Christ's That's right. sake. That's right. They don't know what we went through to get to where we were at. Amen. And see, that's what people recognize. So Jesus said, when you do it for my sake <laughs> and you do it for the gospel's sake, yes. look what he said. We have a verse 30. Uh -huh. You shall receive. That's right. Get a hold of that. In spite mm -hmm. of the persecution, mm -hmm. in spite of the naysayers, mm -hmm. in spite of the criticism, you shall receive mm, now a hundredfold. That's right. Now, now. <laughs> God said, "You're not going to get out of this earth mm -hmm. until my word is proven in your life." Praise You're going to receive a hundredfold. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 and now, in this time, houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, with persecutions, mm. it's going to come with persecutions. All right. Because of people that don't want to do nothing, That's right. don't want you to have nothing, right. going to talk about you, but it cannot stop mm -hmm. the hundredfold. Because Jesus said, you shall receive it. Come on. That's right. So my final point today is what, Dr. Beverly, number four? Don't be thrown off track by people who question your motives. Mm. <laughs> so don't be thrown off track by the people who question your motives. Because you're going to have people like that. They're going to question yes. your motives. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, you know that you want to be a blessing. Yes. So you can manifest your blessings to other people. That's right. People don't see mm -hmm. the, the uh, maybe thousands of hours we travel back and forth to Africa. Mm -hmm. They don't see the thousands of hours we spent, you know, training students both morning three hours, even three hours, five days. But they don't see all of that. Mm -hmm. So feeding people, feeding people, giving them money, give, paying the bills. It's right. All those kind of things. <laughs> Sometimes on, on a Mother's Day, one time I think we gave away thirty thousand dollars on yes. in one day to all the single mothers. Yeah. Another time we gave uh, the single men that had that that had that had, that, had, that had taking care of their kids, gave them a thousand dollars a piece. Yeah. People don't see, they don't see the that. blessing that you were. Amen. All they try to see is the car you drive. Right. But the whole goal is. That's why you can let it distract you. Amen. Keep Don't get thrown off by people who question your motives. Amen. Amen. You're going to prove them to be wrong because mm -hmm. they're going to watch God do it in your life. Come on now. Amen. <laughs> so that's what I want to say to you today. Amen. <laughs> resist. Yeah. Resist the persecution. Resist yes. the temptation. Yes. Resist the resist. criticism. <clears throat> You're going to do it through the word of God. <clears throat> You're going to do it through... You know, uh, the connecting, yes. being, getting connected. Amen. Uh, again, I, I share with you that this year, as we come into 2021, we're, we're, I'm offering you, my seven doctor, we're offering you four different relationships with us. Some of you already have it already. Some of you are in my partners already. But for you that don't, that don't have, they're not my partners right now, and maybe my partners may want to elevate your relationship with me, or with us. 
Number one, we said partnership is what the, in, 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 in Philippians chapter four, verse fifteen to nineteen, where they partnered with Paul, mm -hmm. and 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 they and they received their needs met supernaturally as they partnered with him financially. They received them supernatural needs met yes. in a whole new different way. Amen. Number two, those that say, Doctor Craig, I want you, I want to be your protege. You know, I, I want to be. A, you know, I want you to mentor me, mm -hmm. and and that will mentor you through seminars and, and and things like we do. Those we're gonna have special seminars this year for that level. Mm -hmm. Number three, the son daughter relationship. Well, we're going to have a more close and more intimate, more personal relationship where we actually help you strategize and help coach you through the obstacles and setbacks and things that you might get in your life. Or number four, those that say, Dr. Craig, I would love to be uh, ordained and licensed by you. You, you. We're going to be giving some information on there in the next day or two, probably about the first of the year also. Or you can all, you can all uh, uh, text me in, through Messenger right now mm -hmm. and let me, Dr. Craig, I want that level of relationship, and we'll begin to connect right now. Praise God, God put in my heart, let's connect this year. Amen. Let's, let's go through this year together, and let's see God move some, some things. Now, also, uh, on, on, uh, on New Year's Eve night, we're going to connect. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, uh, for you that are in Arizona, it's going to be at 11 o'clock p.m. You that are on Pacific Standard Time is going to be uh, at uh, at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Amen. And for you that are around the world, just make the adjustment. But we're going to be bringing the new year in. Praise mm -hmm. God. Right. We're going to bring the new year in. Right. Praise God. Together, we're going to connect together with a very special message yes. that God's putting in my heart to release. Praise God. To release on that night for 2021. So I want Hallelujah. you to be a part of that. So prepare yourself in those areas. I know many of you going to be partying. Many are going to have dinner with your family, something like that. But if you got, if you got time, put some time aside Amen. from 11 8, uh, p.m. to 12 or, or, or specific standard time, 10 o'clock to 11 to o'clock, whatever time it is around the world. Amen. Put that time together because we're going to get together and we're going to see God do some great things. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Well, praise God. This has been a great word for today. Yes. That God's given us about resisting persecution. Yes. And let's see God do some great things, preparing ourselves yes. for what God's got for our life this year. Well, because this is a ministry. Praise God. Uh, many of you that are already our partners, I uh, want to give, you, give God thanks for you that have all partnered with us during this past year, uh, you know, both in your prayers as well as in your financial support. We want to give, give God thanks for you. Uh, and, and then also for this year coming up. As we continue to partner together and God do even greater things, both in your life, your ministry, and in your family Amen. through our partnership together. So we're going to prepare now to receive our tithe and offerings praise for God. today. Amen. And, 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 and that, praise God. That's right. Praise God for tithe and offering. Amen. <laughs> tithe and offering is not just to support a physical building. It supports right. the body of Christ. That's right. And so the thing is, right. I mean, but, but it does, that's right, that is for our assignment. And now it does help pay for the building. That's wrong the buildings. Right, right. Thank God for the best building. You ought to have the best church building there is. Your church ought to be able to shine brighter than everybody's Amen. church, praise yes, God. But right. the whole goal is that we're receiving the tithe and offering mm -hmm. <clears throat> for those that are under us. Yes. For those Amen. that we are mentoring, mm -hmm. those that we are partnering with. We're going to see your tithe and offerings. God says the way you keep the blessing on your life, mm -hmm. released on your life, is through the tithe. Praise if God. you take that first 10% of what God promises you with mm -hmm. and you give it as a tithe. Mm -hmm. And then number two, through the offerings. And, then, and through special God-inspired seed Praise sowing. God. But God puts some amount in your heart and says, you know what, this coming, in this coming year, I want to see God do some great things in my life. And God put in my heart a special seed I want to sow. Yes. All that right there is what we believe in God for your life. Praise God. To see your life go to the next level for this next year. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be ready to pray for you. Now, you said, Dr. Craig, how can I, how do I sow? Well, there's three different ways you can sow. Number one, for you that got cash apps, you can get, it's a, a dollar sign, apostle I am. That's yes. dollar sign, apostle I am. Um, or there's a link right there on Facebook, or or whatever you listen to. You may if you, if you listen to about on on um, uh, on YouTube, whatever there. There's a link that you can just click that link and take it right to our giving area, or the website at imministries.org. You can go right there, and you can be a blessing or have a lot, whatever the Lord put in your heart. You're mm -hmm. sowing your seed Praise for God. your future. Your future is connected to your seed. Amen. So whatever God put in your heart. We're going to receive it in Jesus' name, Amen. and we're going to pray for you right now as we enter into 2021 Hallelujah. together. Now, Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we give you thanks for your word. Thank yes, you for the power and presence of your Holy Spirit, yes. Father. And we ask you, God, in the name of Jesus, yes. that, that, that Jesus, you receive the seed, receive the offering <clears throat> in the holy sanctuary of heaven. <clears throat> we're receiving it here, and you are receiving it there. And Lord, we ask that you take the offering and the tithe 
lay before the altar of Almighty God, and Lord cause the blessing to come upon it, just as you blessed the two fish and five loaves of bread, God. Mm -hmm. Let the same blessing of multiplication come upon their seed yes. and their tithe today. And God, we decree it by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. New opportunities, yes. new creative ideas, yes, new business opportunities. You, Expansion comes to them in the name of, the name of yes. Jesus Christ, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen, amen and amen. amen. Well, God bless you today. Uh, uh, we're going to be back with you again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. And then again, like I said, on New Year's Eve night. And let's get ready for what God's got for your life. Amen. Amen. So thank you so much for being a part of our, 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 our ministry today. Uh, remember, we're, we're coming on on Alfred Craig Ministries now because that's a page. Mm -hmm. It's going to allow us to keep up better our records of what, what God is doing and things like that. Amen. So we're on every day now on Alfred Craig Ministries on the page. Okay. So until Amen. tomorrow at this same time, this is Apostle Alfred Craig. And Dr. Bev saying, may God's, God's riches and his very best be yours. Bye-bye now.